Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I'm going to talk about the Power BI service, powerbi.com. I don't usually talk about that, but uh, there was uh, there has been an update uh, last week. I heard about it on Twitter and I don't want you to miss it. And it's the possibility to download Power BI files from the reports that are or have been uploaded to the service to powerbi.com. So let me demonstrate that for you very quickly. Okay, so here we are on the Power BI service. This is powerbi.com. And what you see here is the report I did for the Summer Olympics. I uploaded this uh, the time the Olympics were ongoing, which was in like July. And um, what we are going to see now is how we do to download this report. Well, there is a catch. If you, we go to file, here you have the download report and that might happen to you. So I just want to let you know why. Um, if you see that this is uh, like grade, you know, disabled is because you cannot download reports that have been uploaded before this update happened. For example, I uploaded this report uh, in the weekend. And as you can see, I'm able to download it. You just click on it and then uh, eventually will give you a Power BI file. Here we have it. So here is the report downloaded. Uh, it still has the connection to the source. In this case, it's an Azure SQL database. So you can refresh it, you can modify it, you can do whatever you like. So for example, if you li load up a report for your team, they will be able to download it and make their customization on it without having to do everything from scratch. Okay, I have a problem with the IP address, but it is working, you have the connection there. So again, uh, if you upload something, they will be able to download it and modify it without having to do everything from scratch, which is time saver. Um, on the other way, if you don't want them to download it, this is not possible to disable. And perhaps that's the reason why you cannot download uh, reports that have been loaded before the update, so they want to guard Microsoft, want to guard themselves for that. I don't know how this is going to work, if people are going to get happy or be happy about the possibility to download, probably not. So I'm guessing that this will have to be an on-off button for IT managers to decide. So again, make sure that you upload new reports if you want people to be able to download it, otherwise you it won't. So this was downloaded in July and it's not accessible for download. I will have to upload it again. Okay, so you're probably wondering now, can I download Google Analytics reports? And uh, I have one here, it's made with a connector. And if I go here to file, I'm not able to download it. Okay, and uh, I have, for example, Mailchimp. I'm not able to download that either. I um, don't know really why, as you have the connector in the Power BI desktop. I have actually downloaded these this morning just to make sure that it was not like previously update, not possible to update kind of thing, but, but it's not. So this is fresh reports created this morning and still I'm not able to download it. So for some reason we won't be able to do that. But again, your own reports, if you upload them again, you will be able to download it. Your team will be able to download it. So again, another great update from Microsoft. Uh, enjoy it. Okay, so this is all for today. Uh, if you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know. If you like the video, please let me know also by liking it. Uh, share if you know anybody that would like to see the video. And uh, subscribe. I publish videos every week. Have a nice evening. Bye.